Good morning, Tigers. I'm Catherine. I'm Donnie. And I'm Ian. And welcome to the Almost Live TNN broadcast for Friday, February 22nd. Tutoring signups for trimester three are, ha are happening now. If you're interested in becoming a student tutor, please email Mrs. Miller by next Friday, March 1st, with the subject you'd like to tutor. If you are a current tutor and would like to continue tutoring into trimester three, please be sure to email Mrs. Miller as well. Monday, February 25th will be an advisory Monday. Teachers will be in their classrooms to help students from 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Take this opportunity to make up missed quizzes or tests, get extra help, or work to improv on the next test. The Advisory Monday bus schedule will follow the Tuesday through Friday pickup times, and the regular Monday TCT bus schedule will also be available. Remember, this is an opportunity to get help from teachers, use the library, or to ask for the help you need. We will be available for you. And also, next Monday, Trimester 2 Final Study Night will be held in the library from 6.30 to 9.00 p.m. This is a great opportunity to study with friends and get ready for finals. Tutors and snacks will be available. Finals start next Wednesday with Period 5 Final first, Wednesday afternoon followed by Period 2 and what, by periods 1 and 2 on Thursday and periods 3 and 4 on Friday. In clubs news, the art club meets today in the art courtyard outside room 510. Come help us plant succulents in our new ceramics garden. Tech club also meets in room 400 at lunch. And now for some special guests for the final day of FFA week. Hello, my name is Adonis Vigil. And my name is Grace Greenelsh. Happy last day of National FFA week. I'd like to thank all the students and staff that have helped make this week possible. Also, a spe special shout out to the 30 students that hiked up the hill at 6 a.m. to put up the FFA on the hill. This is a long-standing tradition of our FFA chapter. We are thrilled to bring you a special video from the National FFA President and our very own alumni, Luke O'Leary. Thank you. Hey Tigers, it's Luke O'Leary. I graduated from San Luis Obispo High School in 2016. Was really involved in FFA in the Agricultural Department there with Mrs. Bates and Mrs. Evans. And now I'm actually serving as the National FFA President. As a National FFA Officer, we travel around the country representing the 670,000 students that are members of the National FFA Organization. Right now I'm actually in Connecticut getting to visit schools here during FFA week. Uh, it's a great time to be able to see what students are doing all the way across the country. I just wanted to come here on TNN and thank all the teachers, all the staff, all the administration at Slow High that pour into the agricultural department and allow students just like myself to have an incredible experience while in high school and even after high school. Thanks so much and happy FFA week. Hey all you student athletes at Slow High who do sports outside of school, send your book your photos. This could be anything from volleyball, beach volleyball, junior guards, mountain biking, a martial art, dance, gymnastic, rugby, or hockey. Your book would love to have your outside of school, school sports featured in this year's book. Today is the last day to email your photos to Mr. Naren at snaren at slcusd.org. Tomorrow is the FCCLA Iron Chef fundraiser. Student and teachers teams will compete and to compare the uh, to, to prepare the most delicious dishes to be judged by local professional chefs. Prizes, a silent auction, and lots of delicious food too. Entry is five dollars, and it will be held in the culinary arts room five fourteen. Come on out! And now to Donnie with the sports. everybody, I'm Donnie the church lady, I mean the sports guy, and this is Sports Chat. Yesterday our boys volleyball team and, ba and baseball team took down Morro Bay in their games. Great start to spring sports! The swim slash dive team will be at Morro Bay at 2.30, varsity baseball will be at Tescadero at 3.30 p.m., JV baseball will be there at will be here at Taylor Field, and Saturday, the boys' volleyball team will play here at home versus 
Buchanan High at 1 p.m. Come out and enjoy the start of spring sports. And we have two huge CIF games today and tomorrow as our Tiger teams look to sue up a championship. Boys basketball will be at San, San Joaquin Memorial High School at 8 p.m. tonight to bring home that Division II fly title. We've been We've been with you every step of the way, boys, and we're sending you all our Tiger spirit tonight. And tomorrow, our girls' soccer will be at Clovis North High School in Fresno at 1 p.m. for the Division II CIF title. You've inspired us all, Tigers. Now finish strong. Well, isn't that special? That's all the sports we have left. So back to you guys. For lunch today, we have barbecue chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders, grilled cheese, tuna sandwiches, and pizza. Today is the last day of Say Something Week. It is important to recognize the warning signs of gun violence. It is even more important to take action and say something. Say Something Week stems from the Sandy Hook Promise, a national nonprofit organization founded by family members whose loved ones were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary in 2012. Have a great two-day weekend, Tigers. Hey Tigers, it's Luke on Over 38,000 Americans die of suicide each year. Say something. In four out of five school shootings, at least one other person had information on the attacker's plan but failed to report it. Each suicide affects six people. Say something. 70% of people who commit suicide tell someone of their plans. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for young adults. Say something. The annual cost of gun violence is $229 billion, or $700 per American. Never again, not one more. Just say something. 